What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't been posting for a couple weeks. I haven't actually filmed in like two weeks. The videos that I've posted have just been videos that I just film and whatever. But I actually haven't talked to a camera in about two weeks. So this is kind of a new feeling to me. Um, I've vlogged and stuff before. And I've talked to the camera before, but it just seems kind of like... I feel weird talking to the camera again. So that means I need to start recording again step of my game but today we're going to be talking about tire stretch and the reason why I have tire stretch and why a couple of people run tire stretch and uh, another thing before we start talking about that I want to quickly say thank you to um, getting me to a thousand subscribers so all of you who subscribe thank you I never actually thought I'd make it to a thousand subscribers subscribers um, when I hit a hundred I, I was like going nuts I didn't think I would ever hit a hundred and I, now that I hit a thousand, it just kind of makes me like, not, not, it's like speechless, but I just, I don't know. I'm just really like thankful for everyone who subscribes and for those of you who share my videos, like my videos. Um, I don't really pay attention a lot to likes and views and all that stuff, but just the fact that you guys like my videos just makes me really happy and makes me want to do more videos. So another thank you to everyone. I, I truly mean it. Um, when people would always say, Oh, you know, thank you for 10K. Thank, thank you for a million. I would always be like, do they even care? Like, they don't care, you know? They're just saying thank you, but I know what they mean. I know what they feel. That's what I feel right now. So thank you for 100K. I know I've had 100K for like a week now, but I'm just making this video. So I said thank you like six times. If you guys are counting, I don't even know. I haven't been counting. But let's get on with the video. So there's two main reasons for tire stretch and the two main reasons for tire stretch is one, just for looks, and the second is for actual clearance. Now, I'm standing right here by my stand 720, Nissan 720, Nissan 85, whatever you want to call it. And I have a 20550 with a 10 inch wide rim. And as you can see, the truck's not even low. I'm not even tucking tire. I still have like a finger gap. And I'm running this stretch tire simply just for looks. Obviously, it's not for clearance issues or anything because it's outside the fender, so you know. And I don't have rolled fenders or whatever, so on this truck, it's just for looks. There's people that do this just for looks, ricers, whatever you want to call them. That's me. So there's people like this just for looks. And then over here, we have actual stretch for clearance. So I'm running a 195.55 on a 10 inch wide rim. And these are stock fenders and I have them pulled out as far as it'll go. As you can see, they're like barely rubbing, barely touching. So when I had, I actually threw the rims on the, that I have on the other truck onto the front of this truck. And since it's a 205, this was sticking out like right there. You could barely tell, but it's 205. And it was actually rubbing really bad on the fender. It would just smoke and you would hear it. So I just did that just to test fit it to see. That was before I got these rims just to see what kind of tires I was gonna be running. So that was a 205. So then I decided to go with the 195 on this. And the 195 I could say is like barely clearing. I don't know if I can run a 185. I think that'd be a little too much stretch, but this is okay because when I hit a bump or something, the tire kind of tilts in a little like that. I don't know explain it. So it has a little bit of camber in the front, but when I hit a bump or when the front end goes down, the like tires go in, both of them. So, you know, you get a little bit more camber and that camber helps because it doesn't hit the tire. So uh, that's the reason I'm running such an aggressive stretch on the front end. Well, I'm running it on all four corners, I'm not gonna lie. But I mainly did that stretch for to clear my front fenders. And I thought it would look kind of stupid if I'm running like 245s or something in the rear and then 195s in the front. So uh, I just did 195s on all four corners. And like you see in the rear, you don't even need it. But uh, yeah, I know, my fenders look like dog shit. You don't need to roast me in the comments. But uh, that's the main reason why I'm running tire stretch on these. And tire stretch on that is just simply for looks. So that's it for this video. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now and I never got around to it. But I figured, why not make it right now? I don't have anything planned to you know, due to the trucks, any mods, anything to 
make a video on, so I'll just make this video. Put something out there for you guys because I haven't been posting, which I know I'm lagging. I need to get my my uh, video game, whatever. I don't know. I need to start recording, making videos for you guys because I know um, there's a couple of you who actually enjoy it. So that's it pretty much. The tire stretch is either one for looks to have that hella flush stance look or to actually clear fenders like this uh, D21 that I'm in. But uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, peace out. Oh, you're still here. Oh, okay. You could hit the button right here to subscribe if you guys, you know, want to watch more videos or more progress on the trucks if you like them. I don't know. Peace out.